And Brock Forms comes out of the box with a bunch of different features to help you create and customize your forms. My name is Sophie, and in this chapter, I'm going to show you how to set up a simple form. Let's get to it. To create a new form, we click on the three dots here next to the Forms folder. As you can see, we have a few options here. We can choose to start from scratch with an empty form, or choose one of the two templates down here. For this video, we'll go with the empty form. As you can see, a field has already been added to our new form. To make it as easy as possible for you to ask for data consent, we've made sure the question is already part of every new form created. It can easily be modified and or removed if that's what you prefer. For the purposes of this video, I'll go ahead and delete it. There we go. Alrighty. We'll start by giving our new form a name and let's just call it our first form. Next up, we have the option to give our first page and our first group a name. So I'll call it page one and our first group I'll call general information. Once we start adding questions to our form, we'll be able to also add additional pages and groups to the form. Great. Let's go ahead and create our first question. We'll do that by clicking add question. All right. So the first thing we want to ask in this form is for a name. So let's give this name and it will automatically generate an alias for us. The help text here is something that will be displayed to explain to the user what they should fill out in this field. So I'll say enter your first name like that. Next up, we need to choose an answer type. So as you can see, there are a bunch of different answer types here that are default within Baku Forms. I won't go into much detail about it right now, but you can follow a link in the description below to read much more about these different options. For the name, I want to go with a short answer. After we've chosen which field type we want to use for this answer, there are some additional configuration that we need to consider. Uh, the first part here is called sensitive data. You usually check this one if the field uh, will be filled with sensitive data, such as an email or a name and stuff like that. And if we scroll down here, we'll be able to set a default value for the field, and we'll also be able to set a placeholder. Then we can mark a field as mandatory if this field is something that the user needs to fill out in order to submit the form. Uh, finally, we can add some validation to the field and set some conditions. As we don't need any of this on this particular field, so let's just go ahead and submit this field. There we go. You can see it's being rendered into the form design over here. Uh, we'll add another question, and this one will be a message. And for the help text, add your message here. And for the answer type, we're going to choose a long answer for this one. Go ahead and submit that one. And let's just add an email field as well. Add your email here. And the answer type is going to be a short answer. And for this one, we're going to add some validation. As you can see, there are some predefined validations right here. And we have one that can validate as an email address. So we just need to enter a valid email here. So I'm just going to say email at domain.com. There we go. All right. And the final thing I want to add is phone. Add your phone number here. And we'll go for a short answer in that one as well. And we'll submit this one. All right. Now we've basically created our very first form with Umbraco Forms. Before I end this video, there are a few things I wanted to show you. First up, it's super easy to edit the fields that you've already added to your form. So let's say I've decided that I want the name field to be mandatory. I simply click on the cogwheel up here and we'll be back in the dialog we saw before. So let's go ahead and check the mandatory box down here. And we can also add a message. So let's say you need to add your name and we will submit. Once a field has been marked as mandatory, it will get a little red indicator up here. That way you can easily see which of your fields have this configuration. The final thing I want to show you in this video is how easy it is to reorder fields. 
As you can see, I've added another page to my form down here. Now let's say I want to reorder the fields. I click reorder up here in the corner. Now I have the option to move the fields around by simply dragging them. So I can, for example, move the question down here up to, to this group and move phone down to this group. Once we're happy with how it looks, I click I'm done reordering up in the top here. And of course, I'll need to save the form as well. There we go. Now we've created our very first form with Umbrago Forms. In the next chapter, we're going to talk about how you can prepare your front end for the forms.